Okay, so today we're going to be building the ultimate anti-mining gaming rig of 2021. Boys, hoping you've been having a good Christmas. Happy holidays with all your friends and family. Spending all your time with your loved ones. Okay, so what we're doing here, mining is too profitable to be playing on NVIDIA cards, essentially, right? So the, good, the game of choice that I play right now is uh, Apex Legends. So the goal is to see what kind of rig... Pretty much the weakest rig that we can build that will get me 300 FPS in Apex because Apex has a 300 FPS cap on it, right? So the weapons of choice here are going to be a 5800X. Um, this motherboard, I got it in a new egg combo, so I just have to use it now. So this actually works out perfectly. And for the GPU, now... I don't know if the 6700 XT will be able to get me to 300. If it does, I'm going to use this because this gets 47 hash in Ethereum. This one gets 65 hash in Ethereum. So if I can get away with using this one, I will. If not, then this will be the weapon of choice. Now the 6800 XT and 6900 XT have the same hash rates so there's no point in actually even using a 6800x i might as well use the the big bad boy right essentially what this all is is so i can play games while not feeling guilty that i'm losing money not mining where we've gotten to that point now now you might have your own opinions on mining that's great that's fine whatever mining i have found to be a great source of additional income for the channel so i'm gonna do it you don't have to do it but for those that are doing it Maybe let's try and find out if we can build a pretty sweet non-hash rig. Also, why the 5800X? Because the 5950X can mine Raptorium profitably. So I can't even use that CPU anymore. We can't even use the 5950X. We also cannot use an Intel CPU with AMD graphics cards because it performs like shit in Apex. So you have to use a 5800X. We have to use one of these graphics cards. There's a lot of like limitations and stipulations to this build here. Okay, so we're going to be building it in the O11 Mini today. This is my old recording PC, if you guys remember, with the Kingpin. Um, I'm going to be reusing this for this build because I need a motherboard with more PCI Express slots for my recording PC. So we're going to kind of be harving this, harvesting this one. Um, you'll see what I mean in a later video, but for now... This is going to be the perfect size of case for that motherboard. So we're going to be just ripping this apart quickly. When did I even build this build? Look at this. Look how dusty it got. A few months? Oh my god. I need to go outside. Out comes the trash can. Uh, I'm actually going to go put this to mine in another rig while I record the video so I don't lose any hash. This is the level, this is the level of anxiety we've gotten, do boys. We are now... Welcome to Hash Chasers. So this 280 mil EVGA AIO is actually going to stay in this build, or this rig I should say. Uh, it performs very well, fits in the case perfectly. Don't fix what ain't broken. God damn it. That's a nice tough motherboard, isn't it? Jesus. Okay, so this X570 Tough and 5950X are going to become my new test bench. Uh, why? Because the X570 Dark has three full length slots, which is what I need for a recording PC. I need more slots for uh, capture cards, right? This one only has a 16 slot to the CPU, four slot to the chipset. Not good enough for my needs, but it'll work just fine for a gaming uh, test bench, right? So that's where this is going. Okay, for the power supply, we're going to be using this uh, Cooler Master VFX 850. These things are awesome. I got three of these things. They, It's the cheapest SFX 850 watt power supply you can get, and it works just, it just, it just works, right? So I forgot to mention links to all these products in the description below. Um, if you want to support the channel, buy your stuff through there, and I get to buy stuff with that commission money to do cool things like this. <laughs> so for the NVMe drive, I'm going to be going with the 980 Pro 2TB. 
because Call of Duty Warzone takes up two terabytes by itself. So even though Apex Legends is my game of choice right now, currently, uh, I know a lot of people here are here for that, uh, that Warzone goodness. So maybe we'll do some Warzone benchmarks along with some Apex ones at the end of the video here, just to kind of see what kind of numbers this thing can pull. And I will definitely clickbait the thumbnail of this video with a Warzone FPS something. So I'm gonna just use the exact same B die kit that was on the other one, 32 gigs. Um, I'm gonna link whatever I can find on Amazon because it's kind of a crapshoot what kind of B die you can find on Amazon, but it doesn't really matter which kit you get as long as you manually tune it yourself. So I'll try and find the best bang for buck one that I can. Okay, so the last things I wanna say about these two graphics cards is the 6700 XT and the 6900 XT are the only two graphics cards currently available, like the high-end ones, right, that miners are not after. The 6700 XT is too expensive for the amount of hash rate you get for it, and the 6900 XT is the same story because this gets the exact same hash rate as the RX 6800, the regular one. So all the miners are after the 6800s, right? Not the 6900s. So you will always find these two graphics cards in stock, like all the time. You will also find the 5800X in stock all the time. So this is probably the first build that you, like first build on this channel that you would legitimately be able to build right now if you wanted to. Okay, let's throw this bad boy in. Um, I got a two and a half gig LAN here. I hope it fits because I don't think this motherboard has it, but I definitely need two and a half gig LAN to transfer my games around. Okay, yeah, so it completely blocks the slot there. That's not gonna work. Let's try throwing a riser and see if it'll work. Perfect, yeah, that worked. I just kind of shoved this under there in that slot there, and then I can probably kind of put this down and then screw in that two and a half gig LAN card. And bam, just like that, my new main gaming setup is complete. No fuss, no muss, no RGB, no bullshit. Just a nice, look at that, solid, nice, clean build. 5800X, 6900XT, no hash rate anxiety. All right, I'm going to clean up a bit, and then let's fire this bad boy up and see what kind of FPS we get out of it in Warzone and Apex. Okay, I'm gonna have to cut this video short. I'm just playing Apex right now, and uh, you can see the FPS counter there. It's dipping below like 220, 240 a share, depending on the area. Like, and sometimes it'll dip down to like 190. So this is literally worse than my 3070 Ti in this game. So, yeah, I'm, I'm honestly just getting a little sick and tired of these AMD cards, like, not performing well in, like, half the games that I actually want to play. I just, like, I don't even want to benchmark these damn things anymore. Like, it's, like, 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 this is actually starting to waste my time. So now I gotta actually go and put the 3070 Ti in this thing or do something else, you know what I mean? So, like, it's like... Like, really, like, like a 6900 XT can't push. Well, I mean, it's 300 right now, but look at that. Now it's going down to 270. So, yeah, I, I guess, um, I guess this build was a failure in my, well, for Apex Legends anyway, right? Yeah, there we go. You go to, you go to a city here where there's lots of buildings, and yeah, we're going down to the low 200s. So whatever, I guess, yeah, this is not gonna be the solution for me. On another note though, if AMD actually wants to get taken seriously, they really need to fix their drivers or they gotta do something because like, how can a 3070 Ti perform better than a 6900 XT in Apex Legends? It's completely unacceptable. Like they gotta get their shit together. So if, you, if you're like um, a competitive esports player, you you can't use AMD hardware. You just can't do it. You literally have to have an NVIDIA graphics card. It's it's 
As simple as that. Anyway, I'll probably go back to the 3080 Ti or something. I'm not really too sure, but yeah. Okay, we're just gonna launch Warzone here because why not? I got the rig up and let's just check to see the FPS. But um, it just goes to show you that those people on Reddit and all those AMD fanboys and all that shit, just another point I wanted to make, they don't play competitive games. They literally don't. If they were actually playing at 360 hertz competitive gaming, they would realize that this hardware is unacceptable. Like you can be as fanboy, you can be as fanboyism as you want, but if the hardware that you purchased does not do what you need it to do, that means the hardware doesn't do what you need it to do. So like, what, you know, do you know what I mean? Like, you gotta get the Nvidia shit if that's if it works better. Okay, we're at the the train tracks here, and uh, if I look over here, we're going down to like the 160. So I don't I don't even need to do a uh, I don't even need to do a benchmark run here. Just go to the damn train tracks and look left, and there is your FPS. It looks good over here, nice and 220. But just turn the mouse and. Uh, all right, so Big Navi fails across the board. Okay, so the FPS was so bad that I ran a fire strike to just confirm to see that nothing was wrong with my computer. Yeah, everything is just fine. So I don't know. This just if you're a competitive gamer, you got to stay the hell away from AMD shit. Okay, we're going to run Horizon Zero Dawn as well just to confirm that the AMD hardware is optimized for an AMD game and all that infinity ass is doing them all that good in those eSport titles Okay, yeah, so that's pretty much identical to my old benchmark videos. So this system here does run beautifully on uh, Single-player games I should say so maybe I'll keep the rig around for my single-player gaming offline and use that as the hash rate saver but when it comes to eSport titles, I guess I'm going to be using an Intel Plus 3080 Ti system. Anyway, guys, sorry that built disappointed. Uh, AMD fails again. But if you like the content, hit that subscribe button. Do all that YouTube SEO stuff. Like, share, subscribe. And uh, me and Lila will see you in the next one. And Happy New Year's. Happy Holidays. And I will see you guys in the next one.